I wasn't sure what to play today, but I got a comment which piqued my interest. Dude, do you know if BO2 on Xbox Series X have the issue with the endless lobby searching? I was like, the endless lobby searching? What the f I was mind blown. The endless lobby search. Ooh, the player kind of did. Holy shit. So literally everything is empty except search, free for all, and TDM. That sounds about right. Okay, I'm gonna try TDM. Usually I find a game immediately. Will I? Okay, so it's not a thing. <laughs> Maybe there was a problem, and now I've gone on too late, and now it's not even an issue anymore. This lobby doesn't look modded, but you can never be too sure. That's the thing. We're here playing on plus, and we're gonna see if it works. Oh my god. Oh shit. What the fuck? I aim assisted right towards them. I'm so sorry. That's messed up. Wait, peacekeeper, peacekeeper. I just realized. Oh god, where'd he go? There it is. This is a DLC weapon in this game, and I don't have any of the DLC of Black Ops 2, so I'm gonna try this out. Never used it on the 360 before, or any console for that matter. I think it shreds. That was the first DLC weapon they had ever added to COD, and I'm not- I wasn't around back then, but I'm gonna have to assume the outrage was pretty big, and if it was, I understand. Black Ops 2, while it wasn't like when they got, got really bad with the microtransactions, Activision were clearly like dipping their toes in the water, no doubt. This is when they added DLC skins, and they weren't that expensive. It was like three bucks, and you got these on literally any gun. It really isn't that bad, but I mean, they didn't have microtransactions before, I don't think. Don't quote me on that. Well, that does kind of make me wonder, how the hell are they in my lobby if they got the fucking map pack with the Peacekeeper? That's that when I saw the DLC, but then how does it know that they have the... I don't, I don't fucking know, dude. Oh, my audio is all fucked up. Okay, wait, I'm gonna have to fix that. Hopefully nobody notices me in the corner. I think I just died. Yeah, I died. Okay. Actually, you guys have like a full direct feed to the Elgato, so you probably didn't even hear the audio glitch out. You were like completely unkillable in this game if you just strafed around and like spam fucking crouch. Alright. You should have watched the stairs, buddy. Ooh, the wall bang. That is so messed up. Why'd I do that? Wall bangs are crazy in this game, man. Like all the old Call of Duty's, to be honest. Can't really wall bang like that anymore. I don't think. I might just be thinking of Counter Strike at this point. I don't know. My brain's fried. I don't think anyone was modding. I think we just got destroyed, though. Oh, FAL. I mean, I'm on to talk, but Jesus, man. Yikes. You can never be too sure in this game. There's riot shield kids in this game too? What the fuck? If I actually get killed by that guy, I'm literally leaving. Alright, I'm gone. Just have an excuse to find more lobbies and see if they're modding elsewhere. Or if there is actually like a weird infinite join bug. It's the same lobby? It literally says there's 13. Oh, the aftermath. No, oh my god. It's the same lobby again. There are literally... It literally said there's more of them. This game annoys me to no end sometimes. There we go. 3v3 enough. Please say it's enough. I don't want to wait. Oh my god, everyone's, everyone's leaving. You start 2v2. It's fine. Don't be after math. This game hates me. Treyarch, why do you do this? Even if like the right shields weren't there or they were on my team, it's aftermath. I don't want to play aftermath. I'll just spectate. Fuck it. What the fuck? I think you just found the greatest player in all of mankind. Can, can, actually, can I do Codcaster? I think I'm just spectating my team right now. I want to do Codcaster. Okay, I think you can only do that in a private match. That sucks. This is way more fun than playing as actual right shield. It really isn't fun watching this guy, though. Oh, God. Please just kill someone. Why are you saying that? <laughs> Your aim is great, buddy. Keep it up. Okay, well, maybe now that I got kicked, it won't put me in the same lobby. Oh, it actually didn't. Holy shit. I thought I'd do it again. Ooh. What the? Who's doing that? Stop. Oh. Oh, I actually didn't mess that up. Holy shit. Oh my god. I, th I, was, sh I was shooting out a suitcase. Oh shit, there's someone right Oh, what the f- Hmm, the guy's hitting a lot of snipes. They could just be good at the game. Yeah, they're definitely not mining. Okay. They better fit though, somehow. No. Oh god. Ooh. 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn, no red dot, though. That's kind of tragic. At least the iron sight isn't horrid. The Maddox on Black Ops 4, goaded gun, unless you're using the iron sight. That shit is awful. That's another kill. Mm. What's up? Come back, please. They're not coming back. Nah. But of course, I have a red dot on the AN94, the one with the actually good iron sight. Wow, what a smart move by me. I like the crosshair design, but like, they just mess up the colors a little. I wish it was like, more neon. Definitely blend in less. Mm. Ooh, wait a minute. This might be the way. I forgot about this. Shredded. All right, we lost again. One well, negative sounds about right, but there don't seem to, there don't seem to be any issues, and there seem to be less modders. I say this totally every single Black Ops 2 video, but just play Plutonium. I know it's not the same. It's a lot sweatier. It's a lot more annoying. But there's no modders. There's no security issues or any of that shit. Maybe there's some other security issues, but they're not not as bad as on here.